Okay, so <laughs> clearly I'm a bit red. As you can see, I've been out in the sun, especially on this side. I fell asleep, <laughs> which happens, but um, normally by this time of year, I have a pretty good base tan, and I usually really try to avoid getting sunburned, but it's been really cloudy and stormy and like hurricane weather here where I live, so I haven't really had a chance to get out and get some sun. So today it was sunny and I went outside and I didn't get a lot of sleep the night before and I fell asleep out in the sunshine, which, you know, happens to the best of us. So I don't really want to walk around looking super red and things like that because I do have one week left of school. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I kind of do my makeup when I'm sunburned to make it look a little less insane. I'm also going to be giving you guys some tips and tricks on how to like make yourself less red quicker if that makes any sense and like how to heal your sunburn so stay tuned before I even go ahead and put on any makeup I've already gone and done a face mask I used this green tea face mask I just ordered these in like a big pack off of Amazon they come with seven masks you can do one every day but I figured the um, green tea one would be good because it's soothing and it calms the skin and it left me feeling really nice and moisturized and yeah another thing this is like the number one thing I recommend for sunburns it's something my grandmother taught me something I will do to my children and teach many generations to come is to use apple cider vinegar for your sunburn it smells gross if you don't like the smell of vinegar I personally I like it it just smells like salad to me but you just take it on a cotton ball and put it anywhere you have a sunburn and it will literally turn into a tan the next day. I will insert a picture, no gimmicks or anything, no makeup on my skin. I'll take a picture of my chest right here and do a before and after in this shot time frame right now of my skin today and my skin tomorrow after having used apple cider vinegar. You can always see a difference, at least for me, and it's what works, honestly. It's the best. So yeah, with that being said, it's also really good to keep your skin super moisturized. Um, Drunk Elephant is a new brand I've been using. They sent me some products and I've really been loving them. This one I talked about in my last video. It's a glycolic night serum and it's been working really good to kind of help fade any acne scars that I have. I mean, I have a few active pimples at the moment but other than that my skin's looking much more even and I've been using it nightly and I really like it but it does make your skin more sensitive to the sun hence the sunburn so <laughs> we're gonna be working with that today um, I'm also gonna be using this strengthening peptide polypeptide renewal cream which is just really moisturizing normally I would not use this during the day but my skin is so dry from this sunburn so it's gonna welcome the moisture <laughs> and it's got a really cool little um like those little I'll just show you and use some more on my neck it like pops up like that which is really cool and my neck can probably use the moisturization as you can see the rest of my body is not sunburned it's just tan but for some reason my face and my chest I think it's just because I take better care of them I exfoliate the more the skin there is just always more sensitive and more prone to sunburn so anywho I'm going to let that sink in and dry and then I'll move on to makeup okay so now that that is sunken into my skin <laughs> I'm gonna be using some primer I've got two options here only because I normally use the Professional, but I found an even cheaper one that is honestly probably the exact same formula. I wouldn't be surprised. They feel the exact same. I can't tell a difference in anything, um, but it's the NYX Pore Filler, and it's got obviously way more product, so I've been really loving this one, and yeah. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, I think it, I don't know why. I'm just, maybe I'm getting older, but my pores, I've just been noticing them so much more than I usually do lately, so... I've been using primer to kind of conceal them and this one's been working really well. I haven't noticed any breakouts or clogged pores. I also like to put it on any kind of rough dry patches that I have because it helps concealer go on smoother. So with that being said, that's done. A little extra left over. 
So now, I don't think I'm gonna need blush today, but I just might after I put on foundation. Normally, I don't wear foundation. I don't wear any kind of anything, but today I think I'm gonna need to simply because I am so pink. Um, I know you can go in and use green concealers, but maybe I'm just not good at using them. I've just never liked them, personally. And they never worked out for me. Um, it, it, it like creates a bad white cast, so I don't like using them. But anyways. <laughs> so the foundation I'm going to be going in with is my Too Faced foundation. I'm not even going to put it on like a normal foundation. I'm going to use it almost as a tinted moisturizer and rub it in. So my face is looking back to normal. I am going to carry it down my neck just so I look a little less crazy. I'm going to use a brush though. So now I'm just going to go in with some concealer. This is the NARS creamy one in the shade Canel. I don't know what that is. But I'm just gonna put it underneath my nose. In between right here. Underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna zoom you guys in actually for this. As you can see, my sunburn has been very much tamed, so now I'm going to go in and just set with some powder. Well, that that's done, I'm going to stick to powder products just because I don't want to smear around any of the coverage that I've just put onto my face, so I'm going to use... This blush from Milani, it's called Rose de Oro. I butcher any language that is not English, but whatever. <laughs> I'm gonna put that just right on the apples of my cheekbones and do it very lightly. Just wanna get a little color. <laughs> a little color back into my face. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna use the same one that I always use, which is the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze for the shade Fair to Light. This highlight from the Swamp Queen palette, it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in and do like a little bit of mascara and fill in my eyebrows a little bit and then that's pretty much it. So I'll be right back. <laughs> Okay, so that is basically the finished makeup look. I think it turned out pretty well. I can't even really tell that I'm sunburned, which is nice. So that was the goal. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.